Hello Renderbots, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, that's going to enable us to swap heads from one person's body to another. Um, so this came from a friend of mine who wanted to do this and thought they had to own Photoshop or something like that. You don't need to own Photoshop to swap somebody's head onto a different body or something like that. Bit of fun. Uh, we can do it in something, in something called Finder uh, right here on our Mac. It's absolutely free. So what we need to do to start us off Okay, so here I am in Safari and I've done a little search here for James Corden. Now in here you've got the word video and images, so I'm going to press the word images. So what I'm looking for here under the word images is a photograph of James Corden um, that doesn't have any noise in the background. In other words, if I look at this picture here, it's got lots of stuff going on here and it might not cut out so well. So I'm looking for something a bit like this where there's nothing in the background or something like this, which is also very good because it's got a nice little uh, blank kind of one drop color in the background so all I need to do is take this image so see my little hand there click and hold and drag and drop him onto the desktop just like that next thing I need to do is find out what body I want to put on here so if I type in here body bodybuilder perfect and there we go here's a bodybuilder there okay there's the bodybuilder so let's drop this also onto my desktop so click and hold Drag and you see as I move them over, click and hold and let go. So there it is. So finished with Safari, give it a click. So now I have these two images. Now, how do we do this? Well, again, it's really easy. All I'm going to do is start by double clicking on James Corden. Give him a double click. Now, when I double click, what's going to happen is um, it opens up in something called preview. Okay, so we're preview up here. Okay, so preview is really good. Let's just make this bigger. So what preview lets us do is add annotations to this, uh, resize the image, but it's not always obvious what it can do. So let's click on the word, this little tool uh, bar here. Okay, so when I click on this, all this suddenly opens down there. See that? Okay, cool. So inside of here is uh, my selection tool. And there's loads of things we can do with this picture, but in this case, I'm going to my selection tool here, give it a click, and I'm going to use this thing called Smart Lasso. So give that a click. And you now see your pointer has been changed with this little crosshair. So I'm going to move it down to this sort of corner here, click and hold, and start to drag. So I've got my finger held down on my mouse here. And as I click and hold and drag around it, see this is like a big felt tip pen, and we're going around roughly James's uh, face there. And then back up. Once I get to the end, let go of my mouse. Okay, then we have all of this kind of what I call selection tool. It looks like little ants around uh, James's head here. So what I want to do is I want to take this out. So I'm going to go to the word edit and hit the word cut. Okay. I'm going to hit convert here. Don't worry too much about that. So I don't need this image anymore. I finish with it. So I'm going to hit the red icon here and close it down. Okay, you sure you want to save it? Nope, don't want to save it. Just get rid of it. So... James's head now is somewhere on my computer. It's hidden in kind of the memory of the computer. So all I'm going to do is go back to preview, which is already open. Even though we closed the window down, preview's already open. So watch this. And we're going to go to the word file. And see this word new from clipboard here. Give that a click. And what this does is it opens up preview again, but just gives me James's head. Simple, simple. Okay. There we go. Now you'll see here it's left a bit of rubbish behind. Don't worry about this, we can clean it up again, really, really simple. Again, if you're using this bit of laugh, you might want to be okay with that, but if you want to be a bit more perfectionist here, we're going to open up my toolbar again. Okay, click on that. Go to here, see the little arrow here, but this time hold your finger down and go to the last source selection. So before we went here, but this time I'm going to go here, okay? Give that a click. Again, it gives me this little crosshead which I can um, maneuver around James's face. So when I click and hold and drag and loop back up to where I first started, it selects just that area. So click and hold and drag around. And now just press the delete button. Okay, the delete button, that was it. Come over here, click and hold. Loop back to where you started from. Cause this kind of little loop back. Press the delete key and there you go. So we're gonna do this very quickly and again, depending on how long you've used your computer for, come on, back. Uh, sometimes you do this pretty quickly and pretty easily. See, just taking off those little bits there. Now you might see this little bit of white bit up here, look, so I'm clicking hold, 
and go back and delete. There you go. All right, so not too bad. You can go inside of here and look back around, press the delete key. So there's um, James's head. Okay, not too bad. Well, let's maybe smooth it off a little bit there. There you go, it's kind of okay. So I'm going to go file and hit the word save. Quit James. Okay, just press save. Okay, so James has now been saved just as a head. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is move them over the way. And you'll see here, I've got the um, the other photo. So all I'm gonna do now, folks, is double click on him. Okay, so there he is. Okay, so I have this open. This is the image it's gonna go to. Now I'm gonna go back to James's head. Okay, with James highlighted here. Edit, and hit the word copy. So everything in this window has now been copied with James's head on it. Move him out of the way. Click back on my existing picture. This is the one I want it to go to. And simply press edit, and then paste. Boom, right? There you go, he's on there. Now all I'm gonna do is move my cursor to the middle of his face, move him up, and see these little blue dots here? These are called sort of handlebars. We can click and resize this to fit. Okay, there you go. That's done, simple as that. File, just press export, because we wanna get rid of this now. Export it where? James, body, uh, body, and just change this to format JPEG, and then press save. And that's it, it's done. Now, I could stop there, but actually what I could also do is, so that's saved onto the desktop, fine. Um, what I could also do is put in um, other things inside of here also. So if I hit this little T here, you'll see it gives me a little text box, it's very, very small. I'm gonna type in the word, um, hello. See it's down here. Wait for the little hand and I can actually pick it up and move it around. Wanna change this, click up here change the size of it let's make it nice and big just see it there poking around the back let's go over here and have a look okay see there it is there okay so wherever it gives me a little hand there I can click and sort of drag him around so type the word hello change the color all right cool change color cool and even give it some sort of different font as well uh, let's go for impact that's quite a big font there we go all right uh, you can click in here, say 200. Get huge. There we go. Hello. Grab the handle there. All right, so we can put our own little sort of spin on this photograph. And what's really cool is I can keep adding these text boxes. Um, let's look at that. Type in James there. Cool. Okay, so you see we. Um, Previews is actually a really, really cool tool. Loads we can do inside of here. Uh, another one inside of here is this little menu here that lets me create shapes, etc. So I've got a little circle there. So I could grab that in here and resize it. There we go. Okay. Now it's green. Obviously, it's green. So I can go in here and pick um, white. Okay. So there's one there. Um, if I go edit, copy, edit, paste, there's another one. Okay, and um, maybe do that again, so circle. But this time I'm gonna make this color black. And then if I resize it, we can put these, whoop, we can put these in the middle like that there. Okay, so there's one there, so edit, copy, edit, paste. So now I've got the same eye again, which we put uh, just there. So. Just a bit of fun, folks. As you see, it's really, really cool, really easy to do. Um, have a lot of fun with this for your friends and work colleagues. It's all a bit good. So there you go. Um, so that's come from um, somebody just asking me, how can I do this? Um, if you want to know more stuff like that, just um, hit, hit, hit me up. I'm on Twitter, so that's at RenderBots, but with a Z. Okay, so um, message me there. Also, james at RenderBots.co.uk. Contact me through there. Um, I have my website up and running now, so that's just renderbots.co.uk. Um, have a look at there. I've got some great drone footage I'm doing over here at the moment. Really popular, people loving it. Uh, but as always, um, get in contact. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Until next time, have fun. Take care.